Hi everyone, Matt Fontana here from Streamer, and in this video we'll be installing and running the Streamer Broker node and getting ready for participation in the upcoming test nets that we'll be running. So the advice is to get your node up and running and stable uh, before the test net start, because when the test net starts, they'll be sending we'll be sending out reward codes to all the broker nodes that are running. Uh, that are running successfully. And so you want to get prepared uh, well ahead of time. So there are two approaches that I'm going to discuss in this video, the Docker approach and the NPM approach. And I'll be reading from the testnet instructions blog, which is on blog.streamer.network and pasting in some commands from there. So with both approaches, uh, there's no advantage uh, with one or the other, but you might find you're more comfortable with one approach or you might find that your environment suits one approach better than the other. So for example, in the Windows environment, it's probably better to use Docker. Uh, if you're in a Mac environment and you're a developer, perhaps the NPM approach is more suitable for you. So if you're a bit more confident with the command line, I think NPM is, is a bit more preferred, but the Docker is, is sort of the safer option in terms of getting up and running because it's a container with everything uh, pre-built for you. So I leave it to you to decide which approach, uh, but I will be listing both approaches here, so uh, you can choose. So firstly, uh, please uh, go out and get and download and install uh, Docker. Uh, it's quite simple, uh, docker.com install the package and once you have that uh, the next step is to create a directory so it, it use this uh, make the directory now if you're using uh, if you're on windows then you will want to use powershell uh, for these commands they're a bit unixy so uh, they're not really battle tested on windows so but uh, the advice is, is the same to create this uh, directory in your local environment. It's quite easy. And then let's move this across. And step two is to pull the images and to run the configuration wizard. Now, because I've done this uh, before, it it doesn't need to download anything, but for, for, for you, if you're doing this for the first time, it'll take a few moments to download those images. Next, it's gonna ask me if I want to generate a new private key or use an existing one. I'm going to generate. Uh, plugins to enable, um, uh, unless you're a developer looking to use the test net for some sort of data publishing, um, you can skip this step. And then it's gonna uh, tell me my node's private key. Um, I can save this into uh, a safe location. It will also be stored in my broker config uh, JSON file. So um, just a quick reminder, um, don't make any videos with uh, showing off your private key. I'll be burning this private key. Um, if anybody asks you for the private key, don't give it to them. We've had reports of people masquerading as streamer support staff asking for these sorts of secret keys. Uh, do yourself a favor, never give out your private key. So I'll click enter and uh, then I'm ready to move on to the next step. Which is step three, start the broker node using Docker. So I'm going to copy this command. These commands might be slightly different uh, when you're when you're reading this for the first time, um, but uh, the, the steps should be more or less the same. Hit enter. And so this will fire up the node. So move this back to the left. Uh, it's going to be analyzing the, the NAT type of my local network, uh, figuring it out, doing various, various registrations with the network, and uh, reporting the metrics to the Network Explorer. So I get this welcome message. Your node's generated name is Culture Assault uh, Situate. 
funny name. Um, and I can view my node in the Network Explorer by following this link. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Paste it in, and here I am. So that worked uh, pretty well. I can uh, leave this running. But of course, I want to show you the other approach. So what I'm going to do is run Docker PS, which will list all the running uh, Docker containers. And then docker kill and paste in the hash of the container ID running. <clears throat> and once I do that, I go to the other network, excuse me, the other command line tab, we can see that the, the node stopped running. And in a moment, the, the network explorer will, will see that the node has dropped off. Okay, so the next approach is the NPM approach. Now, the npm approach does require you to have Node.js running and npm running. So to prove that I have it running, I can run node-b for version. So we want either version, four, version 14 or 16 as recommended, it has to be higher than 14, and npm version 6 or 7 usually is the other uh, recommended versions. So next, this command is quite small, so I can um, type it in. npm install dash g for global streamer dash broker at testnet tag. Now at this point, if your environment is missing uh, a dependency of some sort, it could error out. And in this case, it's it's best to uh, raise this with us on Discord. We have some some helpful tips with this respect. It's quite hard to predict uh, what sort of environmental issues you might have at this step. So um, yeah, if you have if you do have problems, the Docker approach is probably the way to go. Or we usually have uh, a few. Um, optional dependencies that can be installed that can help uh, you get through this step. But um, I think this will work for me. It'll take a few moments just to to download all the uh, all the dependencies, but uh, we can see that it did uh, install the package. So I can move on to step two, which is streamer dash broker dash init. I can run that command from anywhere because I installed the package globally. So again, I will generate, I will skip the plugin step, and it will show me the private key just as it did with the Docker setup. So I can move to step three, which is running my broker node, which is simply streamer dash broker. So it's going to <clears throat> Analyze the NAT type again, uh, go through the motions, and uh, with with some luck, it's going to uh, fire up a, a new node for us. Sending some metrics. This is all normal. If you see some warnings, they're usually okay. Uh, if there's errors, uh, flag them to us on Discord, please. So here we are. This time I'm called Weapon Print Deer. So I can also search for uh, these names. My node pops up. And uh, yeah, here's my node. So that is it for both approaches. Uh, then of course you can use the, the Network Explorer and, and, uh, and uh, yeah, bask in its glory. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, we look forward to seeing Many thousands of nodes activate during the testnet. Uh, we hope you're one of them. Uh, again, if you have any issues, I'll, I'll be in Discord. The network team will be in Discord. Uh, we're here to help you. And uh, yeah, uh, good luck and see you in the testnet.